The FLIP, or Floating Instrument Platform Ship, built in 1962 with funding from the Office of Naval Research, has a unique ability to flip from a horizontal to a vertical position, hence its name. Its innovative design and advanced functions have played a crucial role in oceanographic research for over 50 years. Designed by Dr. Fred Fisher and Dr. Fred Spees from the Script Institution of Oceanography, FLIP or FLIP measures 355 feet long. When in its vertical position, most of its structure is submerged below the water's surface, resembling a giant buoy. This design allows FLIP to remain stable even in the roughest sea conditions, making it an ideal platform for scientific research. FLIP has significantly contributed to various research fields, including air-sea interaction, oceanographic mixing, and acoustic thermometry. For more than five decades, this ship has been a symbol of innovation and dedication in maritime research, becoming one of the most famous research vessels in the world. Every element inside the ship is designed to function both in horizontal and vertical positions. When FLIP flips, equipment such as beds, kitchens, and scientific instruments rotate 90 degrees to remain parallel to the floor. This flipping process takes about 28 minutes, providing a unique experience that combines innovative engineering with science. In its vertical position, FLIP provides a stable research environment, minimizing disruption from waves and allowing scientists to take precise measurements. The main reason why this research vessel was designed this way is that the horizontal position of ships generally does not allow accurate readings of waves and other relevant marine data due to the movement that reduces the potential of measuring instruments on the natural shape of the ship. Therefore, FLIP was created to overcome the problem of measuring potential by providing flexibility to the research vessel to stand vertically and independently from the waves in the water and continue its research. The ship can withstand waves of up to 80 feet and can maneuver in both shallow and deep waters. Also, because the primary purpose of FLIP is to assist and play an important role in marine water research, the ship does not have an engine. To maneuver in the waters, tugboats are used to perform operations. The maximum speed of the ship when pulled into the waters is about 7 to 10 knots and after its vertical position in the water, the ship does not require additional support to maintain its vertical position. FLIP is used to research wavelengths, water density and temperature, water acoustics, and other relevant meteorological data that can help study marine flora and fauna. Another unique aspect of FLIP is that only one research vessel like this has been designed, significantly increasing the importance of FLIP. Therefore, to keep up with modern technological developments, FLIP underwent renovations in 1995 and is able to consistently predict many important points and changes occurring in the sea and marine life. Research instruments are designed sideways in such a way that when the ship changes from a horizontal to a vertical position, the instruments are automatically changed to a usable position.
This research vessel is not only innovative in its design but also smart in its operation. For four decades since the ship was built, it has helped the U.S. Navy conduct research operations with great and credible success. Living aboard FLIP is a truly unique and challenging experience. As the ship shifts from a horizontal to a vertical position, the crew and scientists must adapt to the change. All equipment and furniture on the ship are designed to rotate 90 degrees, ensuring they remain functional after the ship flips. The interior and crew decks of FLIP are also designed with the ship's shift from horizontal to vertical in mind. There are two doors from each room on the ship to facilitate entry when the ship is in both horizontal and vertical positions. Beds, gas stoves, and toilets are designed in such a way that they can rotate and be used appropriately, regardless of the ship's position. To move the ship back to its horizontal resting position, compressed air is used to release water in the ballast tanks, and the ship is rotated to its resting position. The crew works in shifts to maximize research time at sea. The ship can accommodate up to 16 people, including scientists and crew members. Its compact yet efficient spaces include laboratories, a kitchen, sleeping quarters, and recreational areas. Daily life involves intensive research activities, with scientists taking advantage of the ship's stability to collect data and conduct experiments without disruption from waves. Despite being in the middle of the ocean, the crew can still enjoy some comforts, such as decent food and simple entertainment facilities. The biggest challenge may be adapting to the moving environment and the dramatic changes in the ship's position. Scientists and crew members often have to work in challenging conditions. Every day on FLIP is about seeking answers to the mysteries of the ocean, from understanding ocean currents to studying the complex interactions between the atmosphere and the sea surface. After more than six decades of serving the scientific community, FLIP was finally retired in 2022. The main reason behind this decision was the ship's old age and increasing maintenance costs. This ship, which had become an icon in oceanographic research, ended its journey with a farewell ceremony full of honor. FLIP was designed to conduct research related to oceanography and underwater acoustics. In contrast, the ram form ship, which is no less strange than the RV Flip, is a ship shaped like half a ship. It is specifically designed for seismic exploration in the ocean. The ship has a unique hull shape, resembling a triangle or a kite, which provides high stability and a large capacity to carry survey equipment. The Ramform ship was designed by the company Petroleum Geoservices or PGS as a platform for seismic operations to discover oil and gas reserves in the ocean with its very wide aft deck. This wide aft deck is ideal for installing and towing large and diverse amounts of equipment. 
The delta-shaped hull of the ram form was designed by Roar Ramde, a Norwegian Navy architect. The hull shape of the first ram form seismic ship was inspired by a Norwegian Navy intelligence ship called FS Marjata. The reason why ram form is designed with a curved shape is to allow them to achieve stable movement. The wide rear of the ship provides exceptional stability, even in the most challenging sea conditions. This stability is crucial to ensure the survey equipment stays in the correct position, reducing data disruption and producing accurate survey results. The wide design at the rear also provides ample space to accommodate seismic survey equipment such as streamers, winches, and seismic energy sources. With this additional space, ramform ships can carry more streamers, increasing survey efficiency and covering larger areas in a short time. Moreover, the placement of equipment on the wide rear helps distribute the weight evenly, contributing to the overall stability of the ship. The tapered front of the ship serves to reduce water resistance as the ship moves, improving fuel efficiency and ship speed. This design also helps maintain directional stability during surveys, ensuring the ship stays on course. With better maneuverability, ramform ships can easily make frequent and high-precision directional changes as required by seismic surveys. Another advantage is the minimal vibration and unwanted movement thanks to the high stability and specialized hull design. This ensures the collected seismic data is more accurate and free from disruption, making ram form ships highly effective and efficient platforms for underwater seismic surveys.